okay welcome to um this video we are going to be looking at how to solve differential equations that initial value problem using laplace transform so for the solution of this problem we have to solve um uh y prime prime minus y prime minus 6y equal to zero it's a homogeneous case Okay, because the right hand is equal to zero and we're giving this um, initial value problem that is initial conditions so let's use Laplace transform to solve this problem solution so the first thing you need to do is anytime you're giving such a differential equation y prime prime minus y prime minus 6y equal to zero and you want to use the method of Laplace transform so you have to take the Laplace transform of both sides so take Laplace transform of both sides okay so taking the Laplace transform of both sides we have the Laplace transform of the left hand side y prime prime minus y prime minus 6y is equal to the Laplace transform of the right hand side 0 and the Laplace transform of 0 is equal to 0 please take note of that okay so um, when you take the Laplace transform of the right hand side you have to remember what the Laplace transform of y prime prime will be so let's begin with y prime prime so that is an s square capital letter y of s okay minus s okay we now have y of zero and minus y prime of zero so this is the expansion for the Laplace transform of y prime so we now have minus we now want to find the Laplace transform of Sorry, this first case is for the expansion of the Laplace transform of y prime prime. Now I want to find the Laplace transform of y prime. So take note of this minus sign. I'm going to open a big bracket. So the Laplace transform of y prime from the definition in the last video is s y of s then minus y of zero. Is that okay? Then we now have minus. How do you get the Laplace transform of 6y? Okay, 6 remains as a constant okay then the laplace transform of y is y of s itself so it's equal to the laplace transform of zero is zero so this is the expansion for the laplace transform of the left hand side so i'm going to collect all the terms that has what this particular one so let's observe i'm going to have an s square okay then i'm going to have minus s and minus six all of them have this property y of s then you now have a um, minus uh, s y of zero here then minus y prime of zero then you now have minus times minus is what plus y of zero and this is equal to zero is that okay so you can as well fix in your initial conditions here or maybe you can take it to the right hand side so let me just take it to the right hand side first so i have s square minus s minus six all um, capital letter y of s is equal to so i have um s y of zero then minus y of zero then plus y prime of zero so my y of zero was given to me as one and my y prime of zero was given to me as minus one from our initial conditions over here y of zero one y prime of zero is also minus one so when you fix it into this particular place you have s square minus s minus six and y of s is equal to s1 then minus 1 then plus minus 1 so this gives me um s minus 1 minus 1 which is s minus 2 when you simplify it so making y of s the subject of the formula y of s will now be s minus 2 divided by s square minus s minus 6 so if you factorize the denominator s minus 2 will give me s minus 3 and s plus 2 okay when you factorize this denominator so we now want to solve okay y of s is equal to s minus 2 and s minus 3 because the question asks us to solve right so the aim is to find the solution and to find the solution you have to take the inverse laplace transform of both sides so take inverse laplace transform of both sides so when you take the inverse laplace transform of both sides so it's usually denoted like this l inverse of y of s 
is equal to L inverse of S minus 2 over S minus 3 and S plus 2, like this. So the inverse Laplace transform of capital letter Y of S is Y of T. Remember Laplace transform pair. Your Y of T is a Laplace transform pair with capital letter Y of S. So when you take the inverse Laplace transform of capital letter Y of S, you get Y of T. So Y of T is equal to whatever the inverse of this hand is, S minus 2 over S minus 3, then S plus 2. So one thing we are going to do together is we are going to consider this partial fraction. So consider that S minus 2, S minus 3, s plus 2 is still equivalent to a over s minus 3 and what b over s plus 2 so quickly quickly i'm going to use cover up method using cover up method because um cover up method is usually used when the denominator of your fraction have like different linear factors okay when the linear factors are different you can use cover up method so cover up method I can find my a by solving a limit as s tends to what? s tends to what? I'll just ask myself what will make this linear factor 0 and that is 3 okay that means if I plug in 3 into this linear factor under a it's going to give me 0 so I'll now come to this main what? fraction s minus 2 over s minus 3 and s plus 2 then i'll now eradicate the linear factor under a when i eradicate it i'll just have s minus 2 over s plus 2 so when we plug in 3 we're going to have 3 minus 2 over 3 plus 2 and this gives me 1 over 5 so this is how i have obtained a so to obtain b i'm going to solve the limits i'll now ask myself what will i plug into this what linear factor to make it zero and that is what a minus 2 minus 2 so come to the main factor and cancel out the linear factor that is under b and you cancel it out you'll be left with s minus 2 and s minus 3 in the denominator so when you plug 2 you get minus 2 minus 2 all over minus 2 minus 3 it should give me 4 over 5 so this is how we have obtained a and b therefore our y of t is equal to we have what um our a okay let me just put it laplace inverse of s minus 2 over s minus 3 s plus 2 which in turn is equal to the laplace inverse of our a is 1 over 5 divided by s minus 3 and plus our b is 4 over 5 divided by s plus 2 okay so see what i'm going to do y of t is equal to so this is just like linearity and integration you can remove your constants if i remove the constant i'll get one over five laplace inverse of one over s minus three then plus i'll have four over five okay laplace inverse of one over s plus two okay so this form can actually be written like this okay it's just like normal distribution and factoring out like we do in integration so this laplace inverse operator works like your integral operator that you can bring out constants and you can distribute the laplace inverse operator to all the terms that are inside the brackets so y of t now becomes 1 over 5 when you take the laplace inverse of 1 over s minus 3 you get exponential 3t so if you don't remember look at the last video for Laplace um, transforms of exponentials particularly so pay attention on the Laplace transform of exponentials and trigonometric forms because those are the ones that mostly comes out in exams and tests most of the times um, okay and hyperbolic form so 4 over 5 and the Laplace transform of the plus inverse of 1 over s plus 2 is exponential negative 2t and this is your solution okay this is your solution someone can call it um, 1 over 5 open bracket uh, exponential 3t plus 4 exponential minus 2t okay so this is our solution and this is about laplace transforms so i'm going to solve another video and um, solve another example rather in another video but uh, for the meantime meditate on this one as you look forward to the next videos on laplace transforms okay um stay tuned see you next time